Hello everyone, it's Shedwards here, back with another Minecraft video, and in this video we're going to be talking about the features that have arrived in update TU60 on Minecraft Console Edition. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button, and if you want more Minecraft content, just subscribe to my channel and leave a like if you enjoyed this video or it helps you out store. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first new feature that I want to talk about is leather horse armor. Now I think this armor is pretty cool because if you haven't been mining yet and you haven't had the chance to find the gold, diamond or silver horse armor in any of the chests because you can't make horse armor as you know or you couldn't before, now you can because we have this new leather horse armor. It only gives the horse a little bit of an increase in health but it's still pretty cool. And if you guys are repping like leather armor and you haven't had the chance to go and get like gold or iron to make new armor or diamond even then you and your horse can both be wearing the same armor and it'll look pretty cool I'm going to show you guys how to make this armor real quick it's pretty it's pretty easy and simple all you do is you get seven pieces of leather you put them in the crafting table just like that and there you go we have a piece of horse armor on our horse outside I actually really like this armor I feel like this armor looks a lot more natural than the other armors, it just looks so cool. And obviously in real life you would have like leather horse armor and it'll go perfectly with a saddle. It is more realistic than the other armors because you don't really see any horse in real life wearing like diamond armor do you so it's pretty cool. I really like that armor. Yeah guys be sure to check out this feature in your Minecraft games. Uh, I think the leather armor is really cool. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and we're going to move on to the next feature. Okay, so feature number two. I think my horse is going to get in the way for this one. Give me this lead. Okay, yeah. Yep. You guys, so feature number two is a, a new feature that's been added to the dispenser. Basically, in dispensers now, we can now add fireworks, just like arrows, and we can shoot them out of the dispenser. I think this is really cool, guys. Like, if you just built a house, say in a hill or something, and you add a dispenser to the outside, you can just fire fireworks outside your house. It's going to look amazing, man. I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like. Look how cool that is, guys. You can make like your own little fireworks show just from the dispenser. So yeah guys, that's feature number two, which is the fireworks dispenser, which I think is pretty cool indeed. And uh, we're going to move on to feature number three. Okay, so the next feature of this update, guys, is we can now add potions to our cauldrons. As you can see, I've added a few different potions to our cauldrons already, and we get different colours within the cauldrons, which we can then use to make potions straight from the cauldron without going and crafting them ourselves. Another cool thing about potions being added to cauldrons is the fact that if you've got like a potion of healing in there or a potion of invisibility or anything like that then you can use arrows and you can use your arrows and put them in the furnace and then you will get 16 of whatever is in that potion so as you can see, I've just made a few here. So now we have 16 arrows of leaping, 16 fire resistance arrows, 16 arrows of swiftness, and 16 arrows of slowness. So this is just a really quick and easy way to make these arrows without like going through the trouble of making them through the crafting table, which I think is pretty cool. It just makes the game a lot faster and just uh, cuts out unnecessary wasted time. Potions. Okay guys, not only can we add potions to the cauldrons, but we can also now dye the water that is held within the cauldron. So all we need to do is get whatever dyes you want. And we'll also go for some And there you can see we've dyed the cauldrons many different colours, which I think looks pretty cool indeed. I think this looks amazing guys, look at this. We've got cauldrons that are all different types of colours. And then what we can do is we can put our leather armor in the dye the armor. And we can also dye our horse armor as well because it is. Which I think looks amazing guys. I'm going to put this on the horse actually. I think this looks better. 
and the one he already has on. It's going to make him a green horse, <laughs> which looks amazing. Look at that, guys. He looks incredible. And we're also going to rock our leather armor as well because it just looks much cooler than the diamond one now. Look at that, guys. Looks amazing. I'm just going to have to take it off real quick just so I can show you one more feature. So, like, if you if you decide that you don't like the colour of the armor, all you have to do is you just put the water in the cauldron, get whatever colour armor you made, and then just dry it back into the water. So then we have normal leather armor, and then if we want to change it to orange, say, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to change it back into the water. And so, yeah, guys, that's another cool feature. I think all the features that have been added within this update are so cool, guys. They're all about customization, which I like. Especially that armor feature, because we've been waiting so long to be able to dye our leather armor. So, so long, guys. And we finally can, which I think is amazing. So, yeah, let's move on to the next thing, guys. The final feature that I want to talk about, guys, in this update is armor stands. Armor stands now have arms and can be posed manually or with redstone, as you can see here. Just by adding those two arms on each end makes it look so much cooler. Just looks amazing. I'm going to add some armor to this. As you can see, we have a lot in our inventory anyway, so we may as well. How cool that is. So yeah, if you destroy an armor stand, it can also pick up armor stands apparently, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, this looks absolutely amazing guys. It actually looks like there's a real person there. And you can probably troll your friends with this as well. Because if you put that in their house, and they see it, and they don't realize it's an armor stand, like if you put some stuff around the legs, they'll be pretty freaked out. Especially if you put some mob heads on it. Because now it has arms, so it looks even more realistic. But yeah, that's the final cool feature that I have to talk about in this video. There's also a couple of other smaller features that have been added. We now have a Norse Mythology mashup pack, which you guys can download if you wish. Also, baby zombie jockeys that can ride all kinds of mobs have been added. On higher difficulties, the wither will now spawn some wither skeletons for protection. Updated villages to suit to better suit their biomes. Dispensers will now drop mop heads if placing them wouldn't spawn a mob. And that's about it guys, that is all the things that have been added in TU60. If you enjoyed this video, smash a like on it. If you enjoy Minecraft content and you want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead. We're going to be doing lots of Minecraft live streams, I also play other games and I'm also doing a shout out series too if you guys want to join in on that and grow your channels as well as mine. But yeah guys, it's been Shedwoods, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.